Hi folks, Craig signing in for Pure Xbox with our review of the Power A Moga XP Ultra controller. Oh, let's just get into it, shall we? When it comes to modern day game pads, it's hard to beat the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. It's comfortable, deeply customizable, and pretty versatile, pairing not only to Xbox consoles, but mobile and Windows PC too. Xbox brand controllers are fantastic, that is if you're happy footing the $159.99 price tag. We've always found third-party controllers to be a bit of a mixed bag, especially when Xbox-owned gamepads are consistently of such a high standard. That said, there's definitely room for a middle ground between premium quality and affordability. But where does PowerA's brand new Moga XP Ultra fit? Admittedly, it was hard for me to bench my limited edition Halo Infinite Elite Series 2 controller. <laughs> Just don't remind me. But we were very excited to see what PowerA's multi-platform Moga XP Ultra wireless, yes, this one is wireless, controller had to offer. Out of the box, PowerA supplies one month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You're welcome. A minimal setup guide, Moga's dual articulating mobile gaming clip, USB-C charging wire, and the gamepad itself. The XP Ultra's mimicry of the Xbox controller layout is pretty spot on. Textured joysticks can be found in the right places, and the D-pad and ABXY buttons are where you'd expect them to be. Although comfortable when attached to the ergonomic grip, rests too close to the B button. Its raised edge makes for awkward button pressing. Awkward button pressing. The bumpers and triggers work, although somewhat loudly, and it also features two additional remappable buttons on the back side of the grip. With everything attached, the controller design is bonny enough. It's slightly heavier than the Elite Series 2, but with a name like XP Ultra, how could you expect anything less than a Transformer? Users might find the full-sized gamepad hefty, especially once they've attached their very large phones to the Moga clip which can be a little awkward and top-heavy at times. We felt the rubber teeth don't grip your phone tight enough, which is risky business, especially if you forked out a thousand pounds for a brand new Samsung phone or something. One of the XPU's unique features is its fully detachable grip, quickly transforming the Xbox-style controller into something more reminiscent of the SNES, except with many more buttons. Whilst the mini pad is lightweight and makes for ideal mobile gaming sessions, the compact nature of it gives us serious phantom grip. We found our wrists awkwardly twisting inward and struggle with the lack of physical palm support. Connecting the XPU to an Xbox Series X was familiar and easy. Hold in the pair button on both devices and they'll just talk. Easy. Connection to PC or laptop is simple enough if your hardware has Bluetooth capabilities. If not, you can try wired connection. You can also pair the XPU through the Xbox wireless adapter and with Android phones. Unfortunately, it's not currently supported by iOS, which is a big L for Apple users. From our tests, we can confirm that the built-in battery does indeed last for roughly 25 to 30 hours of playtime, lasting longer when detached from the dual rumble motors found in the removable ergonomic grip. Whilst third-party controllers usually fill the gap of an ever-increasingly expensive market, it's hard to ignore the Moga XP Ultra's price tag of $124.99. Serious ouchies on that one. The XP Ultra does an okay job at masking itself as an Xbox controller, and there's no denying that its unique additions are what make it interesting. We're a fan of the detachable mini pad and integrated clip mount and feel that some users might appreciate its novelty. Ultimately, we think PowerA are doing something ambitious here and we salute them for it. It's versatile and does a good job of catering towards an Xbox crowd using Android devices. For us, third party accessories are a brilliant way of offering console users fun, accessible and affordable options. We don't think PowerA have nailed the execution this time around and couldn't shake the thought that for £35 more, plus maybe £9.99 for the official PowerA Moga mobile gaming clip, that was a big sentence, you could have the best in class Xbox Elite Series 2 controller instead. 
But what do you think? Does this fill the void in your mobile gaming escapades? Let us know in the comments what you think and if you're picking one up yourself. And as always, remember to subscribe to the channel. As for now, I've been Craig and I'm signing off. Cheerio!